Bro, Hank just pulled the plug on the square body bill. What do you mean by that? He came over the other day, I showed him a couple of things, pointed out some stuff that I was a little bit concerned about, some problems we had. When he saw it, he realized how much work there was gonna be, and he was like, no, nope, we're done. I don't wanna mess with it. So he bought another one. He brought this one over here. The more we worked on the other truck, the more we dug into that, we found that it just seemed like it was getting worse and worse and worse. And we were just gonna be running into a whole lot more work. And so rather than just halfway build that thing and leave a lot of problems untouched, we decided that it was gonna be better to take another truck off the frame and replace it on that one. So Hank found this truck and it's in a lot better shape. So real quick, gonna walk you guys around that and show you what it is we're working with now. Let's just start out with the rockers. So y'all remember how bad the rockers were over there? The rockers on this one are actually pretty solid as well as the floors. And so if you get under here and you look, you can see that the firewall is pretty solid too, man. So there's just a whole lot less rust in this truck. I almost looked brand spanking new in here. Somebody has already started working on this truck at some point and I guess that, I guess they just decided they didn't want to go through with it. So anyway, this is definitely going to be a better candidate for the build. The doors aren't as rotten as the other ones are and all that stuff. The fenders on this truck hadn't been butchered. They're, they're, you know, they need a little bit of work, but honestly, they're not cut up. They're not rusty. The hood's pretty rough. Not going to lie. The hood's pretty rough. We're going to have to do something about that. Body work. Body work. <laughs> so come on around to the other side. And I know a lot of y'all in the comments were asking about showing y'all cutting out the floor pan on the driver's side and replacing that. Good news, this one needs a driver's side floor pan. So we're gonna be doing a floor pan on that. And uh, again, looking right here, rocker panels, a lot more solid than the other ones. There's a little bit of issue right there I'll have to address, but still, I mean, it's just so much less work than the other truck was gonna be. And it's just gonna speed things up on this thing, get this stuff swapped over, do a little bit of body work, get it painted. That sucker's gonna be done a lot faster than if we worked on that other yeah. one. And the best part about this is the bed is pretty much intact. The bed is solid, man. So we got those other patches that we had ordered for Hank's truck originally that'll have to be, you know, we'll have to put those in, take care of some stuff like this. But the bed supports are solid. Couple little rust holes in the bed itself. Not a big deal. We'll patch that stuff or put a bed liner over it or whatever, whatever Hank decides he wants to do. But at the end of the day, this truck is just gonna be a lot more solid, a lot safer and just a better build overall. That being said, we gotta go get Hank's truck out of the shop, get it out here, get the motor wrapped up, make sure that nothing gets in it, put the hood back on it and all that good stuff. And then we're gonna be dragging the new donor truck into the shop and get ready to strip this joker down, get it ready for some paint. All right, so we got the square body moved out here. We're ready to move the parts truck back up there. Hank showed up, bro. He told me there was work involved, and I was like, I'll be there right off the bat. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing better than an extra set of pants. Better That's late right. than never. You know? <laughs> hey, I can supervise all day long. That's right. Hey, just point, just point your finger and tell Brandon what to do. <laughs> Still, and he tells me what not to do. He's, tell, he's telling me not to do stuff, bro. He's killing me. He doesn't, what he doesn't know is we're perfectionists here. Yes, well, this is true. Right. Well, y'all do, fan, you do fantastic work, you know, and I... I, I th I've seen your work, and I was like, man, that stuff, he does such a good job, and that's really why we wanted to, to come, let you do the work, to be honest with you. I'm just a little slightly overboard sometimes. You know? <laughs> just slightly. A little bit OCD when it comes to body work. Yeah, that's right. But anyway, so we're fixing the hook to this parts truck, get it drug in the shop, and we'll start stripping this joker down so we can turn that one into that one and that one into junk. This dude is doing it right, brother. He is just marketing his own stuff on his truck. I mean, it's a little off, but I mean, hey. Maybe we can take notes, you know what I'm saying? Start putting on, putting Coop's house on everything. Yeah, I mean, we, we got the logo. We just put on everything, yeah. but. We can put stickers. We, we do everything now. So what's the game plan right now? We're about to wreck Hank's truck into Hank's truck. With the tire. With the tire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we ain't using that front end anyway, so if something breaks on the on that front clip, bust I mean, it. Bust, bust it. it. So we're gonna use that to be able to push this into the shop. Yeah, because flat tires and we're weak. Yeah. There we go.
passed out. You were getting pushed straight back, like yeah, I know. that way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we can push it all the way back, and then we can pull it, yeah, or, or whatever, yeah. and just, or go get the tractor, whatever. I don't care. I'll do about a 15 point turn with this thing. Well, it's gonna take, yeah, that may be what we have to do. We just pull it back that direction. So, pull, uh, so pull out of the commons? Yeah, here, I'll get <laughs> How you want to pull it out? Um, Got my truck. Do you want to pull this one forward and back in? Yeah, we can. That'll be fine. Okay, how That'd do you want to do that? Just whatever we got to do to get it in there and just unbolt it. Because it'll, we'll take it apart probably outside because I don't see any way we're going to be picking that cab up anyways. We're going to have to time to it. Yeah. Well, I'll bring the tractor over for that when we get ready to do it. Yeah. It won't take us but a minute. It's unbolted and ready to go. Oh, okay. This needs tars. I got tires on it. There goes that girl. <laughs> I think he's finally going to put this winch to use. I, think so. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen him use that. He's just been chilling. He's just been chilling. You got it for looks. Might as well make it do some work. Oh, he brought out the ratchet strap. <laughs> really do be for looks. It <laughs> do be for looks. <laughs> Mr. Hank. Yeah. You got a winch on here and using a ratchet strap? <laughs> oh, came off the D ring, I think, or the rope. gonna take that block right there loose and then we gotta get the steering shaft loose and we can get the fenders loose we we'll go ahead and get the fenders loose we need to uh if that steering shaft is any good i'll keep it it might be oh your grease bush your grease boot up here shut oh okay that's mm -hmm. nasty because you know um, i drove mine out yeah yeah which i don't know i mean like i say if you want to tap it to tack it in there it's fine yeah, well, yeah, that's fine. We'll, um, I don't think his hood's even bolted down, is it? Oh, I don't think so. Down. No. No. Here we are. Why are we doing this? We need to get bolted to it. Take that block loose. Get that loose. And then, um, I think the fenders are already loose. Now, listen, I didn't charge y'all extra for, oh. this, for this extension I brought with me. Yeah, extension. That's a nice <laughs> one, dude. Wait, was it just hanging out? Blue oh, ball, brother. That's that low special. True that. Alright. We're gonna use our newfound free yeah, extension. extension. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be neat. Filming this. I am. Yeah, come on, it's about out. Huh? It's about out, yeah. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Keep okay, shaking it, pulling it. Yeah, step one. Step one. I'm already sweating. It's so humid. Dude, it, it just got done raining and we're in Florida, brother. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. tell you, that's why I... Uh, oh, I saved uh, dude, you can take that entire front clip off. Some time. Okay. Good douche. <laughs> it gets stuck on the bumper. There you go. Anything else you need me to help you do? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been doing All right, um, yeah, so now... <laughs> We've just got four bolts to take loose, and this cab's coming off. Uh -huh. yeah. And if we would have known that, we could just took it off down there. <laughs> Work harder, not smarter. The Coop's house way. The Coop's house way. <laughs> hey! There's a ghost here. Put it back together. It's a retractable. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know we were making a new trend of squatting the front end. <laughs> <laughs> We only, we only lower the front quarter. <laughs> How you feeling down here on the wet grass? It's actually dry right now. What? Yeah. Pretty nice. 
It's still hot. Headed back to Coop's house. Got the tractor with the extended uh, extensions on the forks. We should be able to get that cab off. So let's get it back down the road and see what we can make happen. He came in and he touched it with the back wheel. You know what? Man, didn't hurt it at all. Oh. Perfect. So less work for us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous. Stress. This is been rough. What do you mean you're nervous? I was scared the whole time. I oh, I mean it's a lot better than us trying to pick this up and like break our backs. That wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen. <laughs> we well, could. Now that we have just a cab in here and his truck's gone. Dude, we have so much room for activities. Hey. You want to do karate in the garage? Do you want to go do karate in the garage? Yup! <laughs> this so, just saved us like weeks of work. Yeah, no, no kidding. Yeah, because basically all we're going to be doing, we're going to take the windshield out because he is going to replace it because this one's busted. Take the windshield out, take the trip rails off, take that off, or take the tape off of that. And then this pretty much, honestly, is is pretty dang straight. So we'll do a little bit of work on that rocker. We'll do that floor pan, and then we'll do these cab corners. Hank said not to, but we go into it. Well, I mean, we already got the parts. Got I mean, might as well though. do it. It'll take me like 45 minutes. As I say, it won't take but no, so, no more than an hour. Yeah, so we'll do those. We'll do a little bit of body work we gotta do. Honestly, the roof is straight. So pretty much, man, aside from that little bit of stuff, it's gonna be to sand this rig, put a paint job on it, and then be ready to swap it on to the other right, dude, I'm, be... I'm excited to see the color. I am this, too, you know? I am too, because it's gonna be something we've never done. We're taking a completely different different color pearl and putting it over a different color base. So it's it's like two totally different colors, but like almost in the same color category, but sort it's of, yeah, totally but different. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. So uh, that being said, we're about to help Hank move this frame back down so it's not in front of the shop because you know now yeah. we can't get in here. Yeah, so. it's kind of in the way. So yeah. what he's actually spreading those apart. That way we can get a wider base. Yeah, make it a little easier to move this stuff. So, but anyway, now that we uh, have gotten past having to do all of that metal work and all of this stuff's pretty solid, I'm I'm actually kind of excited about working on this because I know it's going to be a lot easier now. We're not going to take these off. We're going to leave these right in place so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, we'll just sand we, paint we don't want to ruin the adjustment of the door. Yeah, so that way all we have to do is put those doors back on and then adjust them up and down. So it's not really going to be that bad at all. So saved a whole bunch of time and also. Oh, if we get back on this, a couple of days, we'll be good to go.
it's all going downhill, man. That's impossible. <laughs> you about done flipped it. I was scared the whole time. <laughs> so I don't, you know, you can add ballast. Or, yeah, and I don't have that yet. So it's a brand new tractor, so I, don't, I haven't had a chance to fill my tires up. Hey, that would have made a big difference. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it wouldn't even have buzzed with that. But if you add water in those, you're adding probably 1,500 pounds yeah. because those are big tires. Yeah, and that'll weigh as much as that, though. Okay. Yeah. That's all, she, that's all, well, I mean, it could have lifted it all the way, but the ballast. Well, then you would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> They'd have been able to read Hamiltonville yeah. Farm on the back <laughs> from a plane. Okay. Got a little bit warm, had to take a little bit of a break, go change, wring my shirt out, put on a new shirt. Yeah, a little bit yeah. Now. Your, your hat is also somewhat soaked. Yeah, I feel pretty disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. This humidity is absolutely nuts right now. Yeah, my shirt. I'm still wearing my shirt, and it is, it is a little wet. So all I've been doing just standing. Yeah, pretty gross. But guys, we got the cab into the shop. We got the doors in here and all that stuff. So it's pretty much ready to get to work, getting this thing ready for paint. But unfortunately, that is as far as we're gonna get today. But if you guys wait and come back around for the next video, we're gonna finish up all the metal replacement, bodywork, and paint on this cab and front clip in just two days. So that is something you're definitely gonna wanna check out. You're not gonna wanna miss it. But guys, as always, we appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you check out that video right there. YouTube really thinks you're gonna like that one. So check that out, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.